Hi, Arno again. This is tutorial number three. So now that we are more familiar with the environment, let's begin and make some changes to logic. I'll explain the various options you get within the color editor pop-up window and show you one of the new tricks we integrated recently that I feel for those who are after a more advanced customization will especially appreciate. It is important that you master the color editor for various reasons, but also because, as I said previously, there are hidden features in this little pop-up tool. To bring up the color editor, just click in the virtual view. Anywhere you click in the virtual view is an element, and every element should be editable, so click anywhere. And at the top of this little pop-up, this title indicates what you are changing, in most cases, you can disregard this, but it could be useful indication in small areas where you are unsure what you selected, then this title is relevant. For instance, if I click on a button, a button can have different states. So here, sometimes you will see when you click on button logic, you will see on or you will see off. All right. So, you know, you're controlling the off or on state color. But more important that the title itself is if you see arrows on the side. If you see arrows, it's because there are other elements, you have other options that are attached to this area. Why? It's because sometimes, depending on the context, but sometimes you have elements that are very close together and so close together, even if you zoom in, it's sometimes not easy to select. So what we did, we grouped them and we made them accessible from this menu. So for instance, here with the EQ, I can select this, and directly change it from here. So the fill of the curve color, and then the curve line, the background, and so on. So that's an example. Now there are two other important features that are accessible from this drop down menu that you should know of. First, probably the most sought after one, how to color the channel strips and the track header backgrounds with the color assigned to the track. This is what we call use track color function. I'm in a mixer right now, so I'll start with the channel strip. You select anywhere on the channel strip as if you change the background. So I've clicked on an unselected channel strip. And if I adjust the color here, see all the colors of the unselected track have the same color, right? It's not the color that's assigned to the track here at the bottom. But we do have these two arrows on the drop down menu at the top. That indicates that there are additional options. So I click that and I see use track color. So that's where we activate, click it, and then enable it. And then you can also control the opacity, transparency of this color. So it will blend with the background, right? So if you want something a bit more faded, that's not like in your face, then you could, yeah, adjust the opacity like this. And I can do that for the orange window as well on the track headers. It's the exact same logic. And now if you wish to change the colors available for coloring the track, I mean, these colors at the bottom in logic, please refer to the video called alternative track colors in logic. I think it should be the tutorial number four. So the next video. So that's for one of the hidden feature in this drop down menu. The next is another cool one. The next allows you to change the style of the pan knob and the faders. Let's do that. You'll see if I click the pan knob, I see a list of alternative styles here that you can select from. Okay. And for each one of these, you see various options like inner knob, pointer, direction background, all this. These are all the parts that makes the knob. So we broke them down into different parts so you can control the color of each element and get super creative. In the end, it's probably going to look very different from the rendering you see in the list. Let me show you.
that looks cool to me. As you can see in the process, I've set the opacity of the pan value to zero. That's because I don't really need it. I just look at the left and right gauge. So I just hit it that way. Interesting trick if you also don't really need it. I think it looks just better without. Um, so yeah, you can remove it. Just put the opacity value to zero and yeah, it's hidden that way. Now we have also these icons, the right side here that you maybe recognize if you saw the previous videos, this button will revert the selected element to the original color value of the theme. Here it's a duplicate of Logic's default. So we go back to the infamous gray pan knob. The difference between this functionality here with this button in the color editor and the one that is side to the theme selector is just the scope. Here we just apply this revert original on the selected element, whereas in the top bar is the whole theme. Now let's go through the other options of the editor. Alternatively to the color wheel here, you can adjust the color with sliders. And within the slider menu, you have different color value you can work from, color format. You can work in HSB sliders, which is very useful as it isolates the brightness and the darkness level. So you can modify just the base U color, if you will. Uh, I find it very useful, especially if you work with a ready-made theme and you just want to swap colors. Next, opacity value, we just used it, nothing new here. And at the bottom, you have a color picker. It's pretty useful if you want to create a color palette inspired from some artwork or select colors from the theme itself or from any website or anything you would have on your computer. Just use that and it will add the color here at the right bottom. And you can also add that color to your favorite palette of colors to the right side so you can easily access them later for any other elements. And that covers the color editor. That was probably the most needed tutorial because some of the features are a bit hidden. But hopefully now you know how to access and navigate them and we'll create, of that I'm sure, a sweet theme. See you in the next video and as always, take care. Bye.